Hello everyone. Welcome to another demo. This is a quick demo about levels in safe, especially portfolio safe and some overview on PA plan. So we'll just see that quickly. Login. I'm logging in with my account. I go to the organizations. I'm taking a portfolio safe uh, organization. I'm going to the test company or the organization. Here I have this uh, wiki page to be filled in portfolios i have one development value stream and one art which is delivering value for this development value stream i have a big picture in this big picture i can see the backlog which is a kanban system this is a portfolio backlog there is an epic and there is another epic which is already in analyzing stage so this is uh, this is going to be a uh, epic approval so we'll see quickly how this epic is approved by the LPM. So if you go to this manage topic, you will see that uh, this is an epic and if you see this is the hypothesis statement. Okay, so this is a short statement and this is a temporary values or test values. In this lean business case, like how we see in the safe, you have all the details which we can fill in and this will be this will be filled in by the LPM. Uh, LPM has done the analysis and this is a this is a go decision okay some some details okay and then you can say n of r1 n of r2 all these details you can fill this is out of scope uh, this is out of scope item and this is this is in scope item some of the details can be filled in the big description okay minimum feature one all those things you can fill in once this is done this approved item can be moved into the kanban system okay so that's how this if we see this hypothesis statement all the details whatever the filled in will be there and we go to the kanban system you can see the art defined this is the art for this portfolio and there are four teams okay now i go to the big picture i will show the pa planning which is developed so far so these are the teams and these are the backlogs of the Kanban system. Now clicking on the art, you will see the PI. This is the PI which we have defined. You can add a program increment. So when I add this, automatically the dates and the iterations are created. I'm going to click on the prepare. So in this prepare, you will have the readiness check, the agenda. So for example, the readiness check will have this uh, organization content or logistics. So we see this is as a readiness check for the PI. PI, this is a preparation part and the readiness check. So we have organization content and logistic readiness. So we need to check in all these details and making sure that it is ready for the PI. So then is the agenda agreements. Here we have a defined agreement already. We have added the duration also and the owners. And this will be carried forwarded to the actual PI planning, the plan PI uh, section. Top features. So these are the features which are available in the Kanban system, the art backlog, which will be used to pull these features and we will apply the WSGA prior decision. All the help is given here, like how SAFE is giving these instructions. And then if say, for example, if you want to change this, this is like enough you know, two, then this is like automatically it will change the, the score and this will be like a five. And then this will change the COD and you change the uh, job size or duration you will actually calculate and then just for you know uh, assurance you can just say sort by highest wgf and then also pick up the 10 features or components or capabilities once you click on this it will be associated with the current pa or this pa okay and then you can go to the info links where we'll add the meeting links and other things then we go to the plan pa once we are in the pa so you will have the inputs the inputs are business context, roadmap and vision, highest priority features, which is we already WSGF done. And now we have the PA planning. So this is the agenda which we picked up from the planning agenda agreements. Now we have all these details will be filled in. It will be like a small presentation. So the entire uh, team or the art can see these things, details in details. And then we have the product solution vision, architecture vision, planning context, and team breakout. So here the team breakout, all the details is given here. You can go to the capacity planning, team and features, you select the features, 
you add that SOS team draft plan all those things so for example capacity you go and add the details of the uh, members here now we go again to the team breakout you'll see the pull features you can add like which team is doing which uh, which items so this is like you know program uh, then they are like delivering in which iteration and any dependencies you have like for example uh, login system and things like that so these are important uh, uh, items and when you go to the planning, PA planning, you will see that the art planning board, you will see the, uh, the dependencies. Like how we see the planning board, this is a dependency you can see. Okay, this is an example, you can say Infra team is also delivering a program on it and it is actually re relying on the VSM value stream management feature, things like that. Okay, so you can change it if you want to change this to something else, you can go back and you can click on the uh, team output and then change it. Team Select team green, it is delivering admin system in the third, fourth iteration. If we go to this uh, outputs, now you can go outputs here. So this is in the fourth iteration. Okay, so, so this is how we will see. There are some improvements will be done. There will be having milestones also. 